Hello, my name is Megan Quillen and today we're going to be taking a look at Book Creator in Google Chrome and all the ways that you can use this with your class. So let's go ahead and get started with creating your account. Start by using Chrome and going to bookcreator.com and choosing sign in. Be sure that you change the settings so that you're signing in as a teacher. And once you click on teacher sign in, choose sign in with Google. Sign in with your HCS credentials and now this will be your teacher account for Book Creator. You can choose the settings for the grade level that you teach. And then it will prompt you to create a library name for your class. This will be the library that your students' books will show up in. In the upper left hand corner you can manage your library by seeing just the books that you own and also going to the bookshelf that you have made for your class. There's a really good getting started with Book Creator book that will appear as one of your first books, so be sure to check that out. To get your invite code, click on the link above and keep this code because it'll become handy when you're having students join your library. Now let's take a look at setting up student accounts. They'll do a very, very similar process, just making sure that the student sign-in is chosen, and then they'll enter in that code that you have from your library. In the beginning, there'll be nothing in there for them, but they can go ahead and choose whichever book it is that they want to create. And as they create this book, you as the teacher will be able to see it on your end in the, in the class library that you created. So looking at some of the features in Book Creator works really well with um, getting everything all in your book without ever having to leave the Book Creator program. So you can see here we're searching Google, but we haven't left Book Creator. So if I was looking for a spring flower, once I search for it, it'll pop right into my book and format it. You have some additional options. Um, you can bring in text, you can bring in video, and there's a lot of other options that students can use when they're creating their books that's going to live in your class library. So as your students start to create books, they'll start appearing in your class library and you'll be able to see them all in one view if you prefer. To be able to click and look at individual books, you can click on the book and notice at the bottom you have some options. Um, the collaboration feature, the real-time collaboration is a paid feature, but there is you are able to invite each other into each other's books to see it, especially if it's in the library, everyone will be able to see all the books in the class library. Notice that there's an option to combine books. So this is a neat feature for teachers. So once all your students have created their book or whatever it is you ask them to create, you as the teacher can select all the books in the class and combine them into one book. And this is really good to know because there is, um, within Book Creator, there's a limit of 40 books per library. So as your students create these books, um, and it gets closer and closer to that 40 number, you can take all of the books and combine them into one book, freeing yourself up some more books to use with your students. Another thing to note that you as the teacher could actually put a template of a book in your library and then the instructions for students could be then to copy the book when they get there. It would be really cool if you had the placeholders in there because then the students could just fill out their information, record their voice, add their materials, and then you, the teacher, at the end can combine all of the books. So this would be a really, really creative way to kind of stitch the thoughts of all of your students together, especially if we were doing more of a collaborative project or if, if maybe students were working on different activities or topics, it'd be a great way to share that information as a whole class at the end. When checking the settings, you click on the gear and you can see the options that you have there. Feel free to change these at any time depending on your class and what you're using it for. Thanks again for joining for this short tutorial on Book Creator and be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us by clicking on the links below so that you don't miss out on some of the awesome information we have to share. Thank you.